I've been reading Grant Morrison's Batman and Robin as of late, and I quite honestly can't help but admire one story beat involving the Joker and Damian Wayne. And I know that I have talked to this subject to death, but just the era of Dick Grayson being Batman is just one of the best, and I can't help but talk about it so much. It's kind of like if you took the personality of Spider-Man and you gave it to Batman. It's just perfect in that sense. But the story beat involving the Joker and Damian Wayne that I'm talking about is the time that they actually first met each other. And it's a pretty significant time in the story because Damian Wayne, the son of the true Batman, meets the Joker for the first time. And Damian Wayne doesn't really know what to expect going up face to face with the Clown Prince of Crime. And let me just say that this dynamic is so good. Now, providing context to the story so far, Dick Grayson as Batman is trying to stop villains like Professor Pig and the Black Glove from destroying Gotham using some kind of deadly, psychoactive kind of virus. I don't remember what the virus is called, sorry. And if you don't know who either characters are, I'll just briefly explain who they are real quick. Professor Pig was a secret agent for a company called Spiral, but after getting exposed to a certain deadly chemical, it would alter his mind into thinking that everyone needed to be fixed, thus he created the Pig persona and would enact heinous crimes on the citizens of Gotham, turning them into somewhat zombies be like people to which he'd call them dollatrons and the black glove is just a guy who was wicked obsessed with batman and the wayne family pretty much so back to it and joker has become somewhat of an informant for dick as the joker himself knows the true batman died and with batman out of the picture sadly crime no longer has a punchline to him so providing info to dick grayson about a murder he committed that had to do with one of the villains damien makes his entrance with damien remarking to dick that the joker doesn't really look like much at all but dick tells damien to listen to him as dick quickly deduces the whole murder why it was why it was staged and how it happened as dick tells the joker he's always had him figured ever since he was a 12 year old kid. However, their time is quickly cut short by Gordon as it's the police's turn to question the Joker. Meanwhile, the Joker starts to mock the police and Batman on what's to come for Gotham in the nearing future, rightfully pissing off Damian Wayne, who already wants a piece of the guy because he's literally laughing in their faces. But in the meantime, Dick asks Gordon to take a drive with him and tells Damian to stay with the police. As we switch over to Batman and Gordon in the Batcave, discussing how drug related crime in significant areas just up and vanished as it seems. With them both investigating further to find that Gotham has been poisoned by a sort of virus. And to add to this epidemic that will soon face Gotham, there will also be an eclipse that lasts three days over Gotham, which will probably make a couple crazy villains go wild. Topping this all off with Gordon getting a call from one of his officers that the Joker asked to see Robin. And as soon as Dick hears this, he immediately tells Gordon to not let that happen, not because Dick is afraid Damien will get hurt, but the other way around for the Joker. And it's here where we see the best part as Damien starts to call the Joker out on all of his bullshit of being reformed as the Joker tries to make Damien sympathize for him. As the Joker screams to look at what they did to him, that in the name of God, Damien has to understand how sorry he truly is. As the Joker lets out a very small giggle, saying that he was once a boy wonder just like Damien, and that he never set out to be this way. But after everything Joker said, Damien reaches into his cape telling the Joker that he read his file, and that he's not really a force of chaos, no. Everything the Joker has done has been planned, as Damien asks what his plan is this time, pulling out a crowbar from his cape saying that he doesn't think the Joker really knows what chaos is, saying to the Joker that chaos is needing someone to change your feeding tube. Chaos is not being able to go to the toilet without help. And with the Joker listening to Damien, he lets out a smile and says that he sounds just like like him. Only for the Joker's face to be dented by the crowbar Damien brought with him. And as Damien hits the Joker repeatedly, he says that everything is a joke to him, but he wonders if the Joker feels the same way about his precious mind. Meanwhile, the police that were ordered to stop Robin just listen on to the sound of Robin beating on the Joker, hitting the Joker with a barrage of swings by the crowbar until Joker finally gives in and tells Damien what he's really up to. However, while distracted, the Joker manages to get in close with Damien and cuts him just enough to poison Damien. And the Joker, beaten and bruised, compliments Damien, seeing him as the funniest Robin yet, because not only did he lock himself in a room with the Joker, but Damien brought his own crowbar to the party. As the Joker steals some of Robin's little bombs and gadgets from his utility belt, making a clean getaway from Arkham Asylum, along with even taking Damien hostage. But the really interesting thing about this is that the Joker doesn't really even torture Damien or play mind games with the kid. Or 
maybe just a little. But after a while, the Joker just lets Damien go out of respect for what he can do for the Joker on the long term, taking out the black glove, and maybe he also did it out of respect for the true Batman. And with the Joker letting Damien loose later in the story, Batman and Robin stop Professor Pig and even the black glove, successfully saving Gotham along with it. So, in a way, Joker sort of came out the good guy in the end from Damien's beating after all. But not for long, because he later psychologically tortured Damien while flipping his ripped off face upside down in one of the most disturbing comics I've ever read, and even go so far as to convince Damien along with the rest of the Bat family that their faces were cut off. If you want to watch a video on that story, I'll link it in the description below. But that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys like this story, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Also, this wasn't supposed to be part of the video, but this just happened to me while editing it, and it was while I was looking for some images to put for the video. I was looking up just a single comic book panel of when Joker pretends to cut off everyone's faces, and when I went to the Google search bar and I typed in Joker cuts off, it auto-corrected to Joker cuts off Batman's nuts. So, there you go. Good burger. Good grilled cheese. Awful fries.